can start. Okay, the story about the puffins. Um, beginning of last year, my uh, wife Janet uh, got a residency in Iceland, and um, she's a photographer and all those sorts of exciting things. And she wanted to film ice and icebergs and go on glaciers and all those lovely, fantastic things. So. Um, I said, can I come along? And so I carried all the photographic gear for quite a few weeks and behaved myself. And um, mm -hmm. and I thought, well, I want to obviously do some work. And it was a rare occasion where I had three months on. So I thought I'll do a kid's book. And I always wanted to do a children's book since I was about 15. And I thought, well, I may as well do it now. So uh, while she was um, doing all the ice things and what have you, and spent many hours at the computer, I, I just started doing uh, puffins. Because the puffin season's in summer, and we went to Westman Island for a few days, and I merely photographed, or she helped me photograph um, puffins, and uh, so I did a, a children's book on puffins. So, and it, it, look, it is unusual, because I, I don't usually do colour work. I have done some hand-coloured series and before, for me to produce a book like this and actually print all the colours, it would probably take me about four or five years. Each block took uh, probably well about a month to do, so it was an 18 month project. I naively thought, oh well, um, I'll do this in six months, but it, it was a slow process. Mm. And there's 16 blocks. Uh, so basically the story is about uh, puffins that meet up once a year for about three, three or four months. And um, <coughs> they're monogamous, so they uh, make, join up for, for life and what have you. And it's basically about um, having uh, offspring. And I try to, it's based on Iceland, so there's the beautiful Icelandic sheep. And um, so I've tried to, uh, the giant skua, who's a native bird, that they attack the puffins and um, kill the young and all those sorts of things. Um, so it's basically the, you know, and then the um, rabbits invaded Westman Island and they're a problem on the mainland, Iceland, so, and then they share sort of burrows or then they fight and all those sorts of things. Uh, tradition of uh, netting. Uh, the puffins which they picked up from Denmark about 150 years ago and they do um, capture them and uh, tourists eat them and all those sorts of exciting things and uh, there's a tradition where they actually let the puffin go, the first one they capture um, of the season so it talks about the history of um, amazing how they long they hold their breath under water and uh, and then obviously there's the dreadful pollution that's happening everywhere. So there's the global warming reference and plastic bags and mm. and how the temperature has changed. And so uh, um, the different sort of fish that they have to eat now, often it's flooded with herring, which they can't eat. And uh, so a lot of the young are starving to death. And, and this is uh, the mother sort of giving it the, the herring and it's too big because uh, some birds will obviously devour it and then regurgitate for the young, but they don't, puffins don't do that, so their hand is whole. Um, but I had a bit of fun trying to get the underground and then the above ground, mm. and mm. Um, by the end of it, after I, you know, 18 months you do, this is exciting because it was a different, uh, but trying to cut clouds and water and all those sort of things, uh, in the end it started to drive me insane. <laughs> I nearly gave up twice. I got halfway through and went, no. Yeah, and it's quite amazing because the, the parents sort of um, leave about a week before and this baby puffin, fluffy puffins, turned into this sort of six-week-old sort of um, teenager and basically they have to teach themselves how to fly, how to feed, mm. all those sorts of things and um, try and go out there and... Uh, and survive. So it's, they have a rescue. So this is Aww. a real puffin. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> that's Toti, and that's who it's. Um, and I, we, I went back, and they let me in, and uh, it was just wonderful. Uh, and they growl. Actually, they get annoyed if you get too close to them, and all that sort of thing. But he seemed to pop on my shoulder and what have you. And and this photo is uh, having a, a bit of a print. A bit of a, they've got a big workshop, but um, not a lot of people were using it. So on the International Print Day in May, I 
went in there and uh, I thought that about five or six people would print with me, but they just watched what I did, <laughs> 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 which is a bit off-putting. But it was a fantastic time. I had an absolute ball. But um, And if it doesn't get published, I'll do a small um, self-publishing thing or something. But um, it's not a bad little story. And uh, I think, But they're amazing birds. They And, and I was really cautious about doing because it, it's such a cute little uh, bird and everyone's sort of, there have been a lot of books written about them and all that sort of thing. And, um,